Hey everyone, it's Bear Body, Mind, and Spirit with Golden Heart, where I am documenting my journey toward greater wellness in my body, in my mind, and in my spirit. So, um, just sharing with people what's been going on. Um, I'm continuing my CrossFit workouts, and today I did a warm up, which included walking around this lodge building, going to get a 15 pound kettlebell and a large 10 pound medicine ball. And I walked them over to the temple. Um, and there I did, first I did strength by lifting um, the 15 pound kettlebell um, five times on each side. And I did five sets of that. And in between each set, I did a farmer's hold, which is where you just hold it out as long as you can like this. So that was the strength portion. And then I did metabolic, which for me was slamming the medicine ball on the ground five times and then running, like sprinting as fast as I could from the uh, temple to the cook shack and then back again and then doing five more. And I was able to do that three, three rounds of that. And then I cooled down by slowly walking back the... Uh, equipment back to the gym in the lodge. So I also walked down from the house today um, and I'm just trying to pay attention to pushing through pain and taking care of myself. And what I want to talk a little bit more about today is how that intersects with my mental and spiritual being. And as I do this work and I take care of myself, it feels great and I feel really accomplished, but there's a slight kind of loneliness to it because I'm so used to everything I do being about what other people think. So I'm kind of, um, it's triggering a lot of my emotional stuff too. And I think that's natural as I work out I think I'm going to uncover uncomfortable feelings that I haven't wanted to feel in the past. But the difference is now I know that I can just have them. I can feel unworthy or angry or whatever it is, and I don't have to become it. You know, it's, I, I know it's interesting. I'm doing all this stuff with my body, but I am not my body. I am more than that. As I say in my song, Eyes of Love, I am not my body, not my fears, not my anger, not my tears. There's something more to me that can hold these feelings and process them and uh, work with my body because it's my vehicle. But ultimately, um, you know, this clears the way for also a spiritual awakening. I'm trying to be mindful of that. Um, I made sure that I worked out outside today so that I could commune with nature and enjoy the beautiful land of Easton. And... Um, I'm just going to keep working and keep feeling what I feel. And right now I'm feeling a little bit like a immature, needy little kid. Like I just need things and I want to have intimacy and touch and, you know, and, um, but I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm holding that right as an adult and caring for myself. And <coughs> now I'm going to go get in a hot tub. Because I deserve it and I've earned it. And I was going to do it before my workout. But I said, you know what? Do the workout and then you can get in the hot tub. So um, I guess that's all I have to say for now. And put your comments in below. And subscribe to continue following my journey. And I'd like to hear what's going on with you. If you're on this kind of journey, what you have to say or offer... And uh, we'll keep working on making these videos better, too. And eventually, I'm hoping to, like, have some video of me working out and, like, you know, bring my trainer, John, on and some other people that live at Easton and Reverend Yolanda and other people. So um, stay tuned. Bye.